Hi, everybody. Welcome back to this Facebook Live. Today, I'd like to cover the topic of breathing. Um, the yogic breath is a very simple way to make a shift in your reality. Um, and that sounds kind of heavy, but it's true. It is a practice that can change your state of mind, your state of your emotions. It can shift your um, level of pain. It can um, create a lot of physiological benefits in your body. And as people are venturing out into the world, um, now that some places are opening up after the shelter in place, there are um, experiences that you'll come across where you may feel anxious or you might not even recognize it or identify it as anxiety, but you might feel some sense of uh, that something's not right in the body. And rather than, you know, <laughs> step into a downward facing dog or a child's pose in the middle of the supermarket aisle um, you can do some of these practices in a in what I think of as a stealthy way and that creates a shift in you and potentially a shift in everyone around you so I thought we'd start today just by taking a baseline and seeing what our breathing is like before making any sort of changes. So I am going to keep track of a, a one minute timer and I'd like you to count the number of breaths that you are taking in that one minute. So it'll go like this, I'll, I'll say go and then you'll inhale and exhale, that'll be one, inhale, exhale, that'll be two and so on and so on. Okay, so just begin by emptying your breath out now and begin. So if you're just joining, we're counting our breaths. Don't worry about it. We'll catch you up later. And stop. So think about the number that you counted, how many breaths you took in one minute. Uh, if, like me, you have a terrible memory, you might need to write it down. You could even type it in, let us know if you want. Um, or just keep track of it in your mind. As we go through this practice at the end, we're going to do that again and just see if anything shifted. Right, so you don't have to just believe me that this breathing creates a shift. You can prove it to yourself. <laughs> okay, so I wanna set up a scenario for you. Let's visualize that we are waiting outside, waiting outside our favorite store. And uh, it's not yet open, or it is open, but it's only allowing a certain number of people in at a time. And so there's a socially distant queue uh, for us to wait in, right? So uh, this is a great time to, instead of getting frustrated or you know um, anxious about being around people or whatever negative emotion is starting to overwhelm you, this is a great time to practice. And it doesn't have to be, you know, a very 
um, elaborate or structured practice. So I'm going to go back there and show you what I would look like waiting in line. So here I am kind of unconsciously maybe looking at my phone or, you know, avoiding eye contact because I'm an introvert and I don't really want to talk to people I don't know. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of shifting in my body and not really aligned and I'm, you know, letting my mind just wander, right? And then I remember, oh yeah, this is a good time. I've got, you know, five minutes, ten minutes to wait. This is a good time. So the first thing I do is I start to work with aligning my body. So I want to get my feet underneath my hips. Zoop, underneath my hips. And it's really, really habitual for me to offset. So just that act of pulling my feet underneath my hips reminds me, oh yeah, don't offset. Put equal weight on each foot, okay? And then from there, I keep my knees a little bit bent, but from that slight bend in the knees, I take a, a tiny bit, bit of a tuck in my pelvis. Now, this is specifically to me because I tend to do this. I stick my butt out a little bit, okay? But some of you might need to find some kind of way to balance the pelvis, and that might mean that you go a little bit back. So you'll figure it out. And then I just take a little shoulders up, back, and down, right? That's something you can do in public. People don't even bat an eye. You know, it just looks like you're shrugging your shoulders. But that is just like pulling my feet underneath my hips. That is a signal to my body to let my shoulders drop and to reset my neck. Because my neck, just like shifting my weight, my neck is the other thing that goes right so as soon as I shift my weight address my pelvis drop my shoulders at the same time I'm going to lift the top of my head up towards the ceiling that doesn't mean that I bring my chin up it's really the crown the top of the head almost like you could pull my my ponytail pull me up by the ponytail okay so that's the first part. Now I've got everything kind of nicely aligned. And then I do this little secret thing. I put my arms around the lower part of my ribs. And from the outside, it just looks like I'm standing, right? This is a perfectly acceptable social norm to stand this way. And I might have a purse over one shoulder or a backpack or my reusable grocery bags, right? But let me come closer and I'll show you what I'm doing. So my hands are resting on the floating ribs and then up towards the upper ribs on both sides. Now when I breathe in, I'm expanding my ribs into my hands. So let me show you from here what we would normally do in yoga class, right? Something like this. As I inhale, my ribs are expanding into my hands. Exhale, my ribs narrow. I can get that same experience, but with my hands on opposite sides, and nobody's the wiser. So now I'm, here I am, inhaling, and the other thing that I'm going to do, really minor, straightening the legs on the inhale and exhale, bending the knees. Yeah, so do that with me. Inhale, feel your ribs expand. Straighten the legs just a little bit. Get just a little bit taller. Exhale, feel the ribs narrow, and sink yourself back down into your feet. Inhale, expand. Exhale, sink. Inhale, expand. Exhale, sink. Now you're going to keep one hand on the ribs like they are, and then just move one hand up to your chest. 
Again, this is a perfectly acceptable position for your arms to be. Nobody knows what you're doing. It just looks like you're resting your hands. However, this hand up here is monitoring how much tension and movement exists along the front of the chest. How much of your collarbones, the muscles around your collarbones are spreading and narrowing, right? So hands are just resting here lightly. And so you inhale, feel the ribs with your other hand, feel the ribs expand, and then feel the chest lift and expand. And don't forget the shoulders are dropping. And then as you exhale, feel the chest soften, sinking down, and the ribs narrowing. Inhale, ribs expand, chest rises. Exhale, ribs narrow, chest falls. <sighs> Do that a few more times. Okay, now go ahead and release your arms. And you can practice that same expansive, elastic breath in and out without touching, but you know, you have that memory of your hands there. And usually what I like to do, if I'm not wearing a mask, usually what I like to do is I just pull the corners of my mouth a little bit up, a little Mona Lisa smile. That way, if my eyes are kind of glazed over and I happen to be looking at somebody and don't realize it, which I do, um, at least I've got a smile on my face. If I've got the mask on, then I try to turn and not stare at anybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So there you are, you're breathing, you have this memory of your hands, and you're feeling that full, expansive, elastic, yogic breath. Your weight is evenly distributed between right and left leg. Pelvis is neutral, shoulders are dropping, top of the head is rising. This is your practice. This is your practice off the mat. So now, let's do our empirical test again. We're going to count the number of breaths in one minute. I'll keep track of the minute. You keep track of the breaths. So for those of you who join late, Here's how we count the breaths. You inhale and exhale, that's one breath. Inhale, exhale, two breaths, like that, okay? So begin by emptying your breath out and start. Stop. So notice if your rate of breaths 
changed at all if you are at the same um, number of breaths from the beginning of class or beginning of this practice to, to now. And if this is the first time, if you join late and you didn't do the opening count, um, just notice how counting the breath creates a mindful shift for you as well. So thank you. There's your stealthy practice for today, your homework for today. Um, anytime you think about it, anytime you're standing waiting somewhere, consider aligning your body, placing your hands if you need it, placing your hands, and then just noticing your breath. It'll create some pretty profound shifts. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Love you.